So this is the uh, Lagoon Stock Pond at Horseshoe. We did this a few years ago now. There's loads of videos of us, all the different stages that used to be an absolute mess. There's nothing going on in there. And what we've done now is, um, that's sort of the final stage of it, if you want, is to, um, this, this bank was a bit of an issue because there was just trees all along it and bushes. Yes, preventing light and air and all sorts getting in, but also we want the view from here. Uh, you want to be able to look across and see the pond. And it just opens it up and it just looks bigger. So the boys, did a great job they ripped all these cut these trees down we can tidy these up but they've got, this was just i don't know if anyone would have seen it this was all just full of shrub and crap and all sorts of stuff got buried under here now this is where the sort of extra effort comes in really and it makes all the difference you don't need to hire machinery but a little digger like that one over there you hire that you hire that three or four days the amount you can get done on a fishery is amazing you know you try and get work parties and no one turns up and they want to go fishing instead of working you're much much better off investing your money and actually getting stuff done um so basically cleared all this and then yesterday we um uh it was the final job really so I turned it all over with the digger and started stone picking it getting a lot of stones out and stuff big piles of stuff a lot of people wouldn't bother doing this seriously they just wouldn't bother but getting all this stuff out ripping it all out extra effort all the roots all the stones all the bits and pieces you know this was not good ground and as you can see it's much much nicer now just get rid of all these little piles but this is the sort of effort you need to put in really it's, it's nice it's rewarding work it's all bits like this all these stones it's a number of reasons you get them out because when you want to mow it and keep it tidy um you know it's basic garden to a lot of people but some people we go to and they just don't want to do any work and then these iris, we've got these from various bits where we're cultivating them around the fishery. Um, and picked all these bare roots. A lot of people are asking us lots of questions about plants. And this is my favorite. So basically all of these, you're just picking these out of the ground with the roots. And this is the important bit is the roots. Basically, when you get these, a minute. it's raining. So that's perfect so that's one and then you go in now all this ground's prepared the planting's really really easy we'll get all this willow herb all this crap out get all this out first and then you just go along and plant these and we plant them here on the water's edge but we do it from in the water you try and do it up here it's no good get waders on get in get involved and basically people we've seen people plant them up here and in there you don't need to plant them out there we plant them on the water's edge because you're trying to get them in there you can cut the stems right down we'll show you later you can cut them right down to that you know, if it's windy and exposed, you can cut it right down because this is the important bit. So you can cut the stems right down if it's windy or and if the geese, everyone moans about the geese, pulling them up. We plant them but roughly a hand span apart. So we're basically getting there, plant them like this, boop, 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 up and down the bank like that, zigzag fashion. As soon as these roots touch each other, it provides strength uh, and then they'll never move. And what that does, obviously you get the huge benefits aesthetically, it looks amazing. And then I just sort of dot them along. So it, once you're in the water, you can just plow along rather than keep having to get in and out. Um, this is all going to get seeded today. This so rain's actually quite good now because it will settle down and we'll rake it over again. But little things like that go a long way. And if you look at this pond now, I mean, look at it from what it was, it's already a massive difference. But then in another month, six weeks, this will be green and lovely and grass. Then it'll be nice plants along the front. If this was a you know fishing lake and you wanted some cover don't plant massive great evergreens here because a they look ridiculous but also they're going to block out a lot of light you can plant dogwoods and bits and pieces like that low-lying shrubs you could put them back here somewhere which would only grow up sort of four or five foot um or a bit more but yeah little things like that go a long way